Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a meteor strike and explosions effect easy in After Effects. Let's begin. First of all click on track camera and wait until analyzing is done. Once it's finished, scroll the video to find the best points and then select some. Then right click and select create solid and camera. Now I will drag and drop meteor and explosion footages. Let's start with meteor. Check this video's description to download them for free. Enable 3D on the meteor layer. Then to ensure the meteor is tracked accurately in the video, select the track solid layer, press P on your keyboard to reveal its position, then copy the position values and paste them onto the meteor layer. Now press S on your keyboard and scale the meteor until it looks fine to you. Then rotate and position it as you like, for example, I want the meteor to hit the ground at that exact spot. I think it's too slow, I will speed it up a bit. Right click on meteor layer. Go to time and select time stretch. I will change stretch factor to 60 and then let's check it again. That looks much better. In case you want more meteors, you can duplicate the meteor layer and reposition it. Rotate and scale on your wish, also make sure to change timing to make it look better. Let's quickly check it. Looks cool, now we can drag and drop an explosion footage too. Enable 3D on it. Then copy the track solid's position and paste it onto the explosion effect to ensure it's tracked properly. Now let's match the timing of the meteor's fall with the explosion. Scroll forward to the point where the meteor hits the ground, then move the explosion layer to that moment. Let's scale the explosion and position it exactly where the meteor hits the ground. Let's check it. It looks fine, but if you look closely, the meteor is in front of the explosion. To place it behind, simply drag the explosion layer Z position closer to the camera, that will fix it and make the scene look much better. Let's duplicate the explosion layer and move it to another meteor impact point. Then adjust its position and rotation to your liking. Once you are done and all looks good, toggle off track solid layer. Now we need to make all the effects appear behind the car, make sure to duplicate your clip and then move duplicated one above other layers. Scroll to the beginning of a duplicated one and then remove 3D camera tracker effect from it. Then select Roto Brush Tool and double click on duplicated layer. Rotoscope the car as smooth as possible, and once you are done, click on Freeze button. As the freezing is done, close rotoscoping window and then let's check the effect. Looks nice, but to make things even better, we can add shake effects, I will apply one from my shakes pack. To get 16 advanced AM film shake presets, check the link in the description, also check my shake tutorials on the channel. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.